Hi guys, it's Marieta. Today is day two of 21 day challenge. And I'm talking about my favorite law, the law from my book, which is called the law of self-love. So I am so excited because I feel like this is actually the core law in the book, Love is the Law. And um, it's so important because when you think about it, the way I see it is that, you know, humanity has issues and those issues are really there because individuals don't love themselves. So, hi Lucina. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, basically, if we can solve the problem of lack of love, we can literally save the world. So the thing is, we cannot love other people if we don't love ourselves first. That's the, that's the law, right? And that is actually the essence of the law, the, self, the law of self-love, right? Which is the second law in my book. And so in order to solve the problems we have, I believe we can do it only if each individual is actually able and capable of f falling in love, falling in love with who you are without expecting any outside love. And that's why I feel that obviously the message of love is the law. I'm not talking about the romantic love. Some people, when they hear the title, they think, oh, it means it's romantic love, but it's not actually. It's actually self-love because self-love is the cornerstone of everything, of the change. If you want to experience change in your life, if you want to create the life of your dreams, if you want to literally activate your inner genius, you need to fall in love with yourself first. And I don't even mean it in a negative narcissistic way or egocentric way. I mean it in a natural, the most, the most natural way you can imagine. Because if you learn the other laws in the book, there is also the law of mirror, right? And so if you don't love yourself, how can you possibly love other people, right? And if you don't love yourself, how can people love you? The law of mirror is, is basically the law that is showing you that other person is mirroring uh, certain things that need to be healed inside of you. And because of that, if you don't love yourself, don't expect to be loved by other humans. Now, this is something I had to learn in a hard way, to be honest, over the years, you know, I was in different relationships and I could not understand why I would be repeating the same pattern over and over again. And the pattern was to, I was attracting people who would, who would not necessarily love me unconditionally. They would love me with conditions. And the more I was, you know, asking this question and I actually remember my recent breakup, which is the breakup that is in the book where I'm describing how, how painful it was and so on. And that breakup was the trigger. And it was a trigger because I realized that, you know what, everything that has been going on is there for a reason. And the reason was to really dig deeper and discover my own love, my own self love. Now, back then I had no idea what it means, honestly. You know, if, if I would ask myself, um, do I love myself? I would not be able to answer the question. I had no idea what it means. Um, and if someone tells me you need to love yourself, still, I didn't understand what does it even mean? Like, what do you mean I need to love myself? Like, how? What do I have to do, right? Um, and it took me a while, actually. It took me a while, honestly. And I still feel this is a lifetime job. It's a lifetime job to practice self-love every single day. And Lucina is saying a lot of misunderstanding with this love. People perceive this as egoistic to love yourself first. Of course, absolutely. And thank you for saying that because I feel like we need to clear this because people think that it's egoistic or narcissistic to love yourself. And that's not true. Actually, it's egoistic 
not to love yourself. And I'm not even talking about loving your ego here. I'm talking about loving your essence, loving who you are. Well, you are a child of God. You are made of love and you return to love and you can radiate this love and light if you activate it. That's why 21 day challenge, activate your genius. One of the laws, the way you activate it is through loving who you are. Because if you don't love who you are, can you tell me possibly how can you love other people if you don't even know what love is? And it starts within and people don't think that, you know, people think that, oh, I need love, I need more love. And I get it, like we are wired to be with other humans, right? We cannot be alone, right? We want to be in groups, we want to socialize. But I really encourage you to take time when you examine who you are, you know, and because if you cannot your if you cannot love yourself, you don't even know yourself. The more you know yourself, the more you love yourself. You are universe. You are love. You are light. Now again, like these terms, like I would never like in the past I would not understand what it means. Like what does it even mean? Like what how do I love myself, right? So the simple tool I want to share with you is to ask this question. What would I do if I love myself? So like, for example, if you are facing some challenges in life or maybe you are going through hardship and you feel like you don't even know how is it to, maybe you are, okay, maybe you're even in abused relationship, okay? Maybe you feel abused by other people. Maybe your boundaries are not in place. I mean, these are things that I've been through myself. And, you know, if you are constantly abused or you are feeling abused, maybe there is something that you need to change. And one of those things is really to start loving yourself. So ask yourself a question. What would I do if I love myself? So, and then listen, what comes? Like, if you love yourself, you would probably say no more. You would just um, set your boundaries. If you love yourself, you're going to uh, make sure that you take care of your body. You want to make sure that you eat healthy food. You want to make sure that you are aligned with what you do on a daily basis. So if you're doing a job that you hate, you probably want to think about it like why you do what you do. Because if that's not aligned with your core and if that's not aligned with your soul, you're going you're gonna to suffer. And we don't want to suffer. So ask yourself this question every single day. What would I do if I love myself? So if you feel overwhelmed, just chill, just relax, go for a massage, you know, slow down. Uh, if you feel uh, tired or maybe sick, just take a break. Don't push, right? Don't uh, act like you are a superhuman. Just give yourself space, be gentle. So if you don't know how to love yourself, it's okay. But ask yourself this question. What would I do if I would love myself? And then do that. Whatever comes first, just do the next thing. Because it's hard. Like, I get it. Like, you know, if you are someone who is high achiever, for example, oftentimes we ignore the signs, you know, we ignore what's good for us. And then we would, as a result, we create disaster. You know, I mean, I, I speak from my experience, you know, I would ignore my, my, uh, myself. I would ignore the internal signals. I would ignore that I was tired and exhausted. And then I would end up with panic attacks. Like I would exhaust myself to the point that I would end up in a hospital because of these panic attacks, because I would just overwork myself, exhausted myself. So again, like learn to listen to yourself, L learn to tune in and listen to this internal compass, like really be gentle with yourself. You have compassion too. Yes, absolutely. That's so true. We can change this world with this loving, with only loving yourself first. And that's, that's the, that's the law guys, because if you don't love yourself, you cannot love other humans. If you are not compassionate towards yourself, you're not going to be compassionate towards other people. If you, you see, because you always project, you always project outside who you are. And um, that's just the law. That's another law. That's part of my book. So really, um, I want you to start practicing self-love every single day because, like I said, it's, it's, it's going to take some time. Maybe if you are trying to 
um, right now shift your life maybe you are not seeing um, big changes yet but again like if you start loving yourself uh, one day at a time you know it's gonna it's going to come it's gonna change it's gonna you're gonna see shift in your life you're going to experience the shift in your life so the homework I want to give you for today is actually meet your inner child meditation it's in the um, exercise section of the book chapter two meet your inner child meditation and also self-loving meditation and uh, these two meditations i would practice um, because you know if you are not familiar with the meet your inner child meditation basically just to give you a brief description um Everyone is a child, even though we are adults, we still have deep down, we have a child and this child might be hurt and you need to start paying attention to your inner child if you want to heal and if you want to love yourself. That is something that I've done, uh, especially uh, when I was um, getting out of that uh, painful relationship I had that triggered the book and so on. That was helping me to really heal my inner child. Your inner child is there and your inner child needs your attention. And so really the easiest way is to start talking to this child and you do it through this meditation, which is on page 17 in the book. So if you don't have the book yet, make sure to go and get the book. There are still people asking me, how do I get the book? So go to loveisthelaw.com and you can pre-order. Once you pre-order, you can submit the receipt number and then you're going to receive email with a PDF and you can start reading the book and you can start applying these exercises. exercises. And as I said yesterday, um, we absolutely need to apply this. Like what I'm sharing here is great, but like if you don't apply it, nothing's going to really change in your life. And that's why daily meditation practice is a must and here in this book there are just simple exercises very simple meditations short meditations that that will help you to tune in and um start working with this inner child lucina is saying we are united right yes absolutely so that's that meet your inner child meditation and then self-loving meditation um which is very important you know, self-loving meditation, when you think about it, is basically meditation where you pay attention to your body. Pay attention and accept yourself the way you are. So it's very simple. You just sit and then you close your eyes and you observe what is. And you keep observing every part of your body. It's actually a very similar technique to Vipassana that I, um, that I already mentioned a couple of times. If you watch my videos previously uh, where you observe and scan every part of your body and you simply give yourself that attention you simply give yourself that energy because energy is love like if you tune within and you're giving yourself that energy you are giving yourself love the more energy you give yourself the more love you give yourself and that is actually how you can even heal yourself by just observing just observing observation act of observation itself is basically act of love right so i highly recommend to check it out uh, especially if you are suffering um, and when you think about it most of us are suffering because we are not giving ourselves proper love right and we are wired in a way that we think that um, we're getting the love from outside the world. But the truth is love is inside of you, waiting, 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 waiting to be awakened, right? Now the question is, are you ready or you still want to play the victim? You have to answer that question to yourself. Okay, guys? So that's all I got for you today. I hope you like this video. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions. And tomorrow we are going to cover the law of intuition. It's, I love this one because always trust your vibes. Always trust your vibes. So tomorrow, same time, I'm going to be doing live stream law of intuition and um don't forget to tune in same time and make sure to do the exercise make sure to do the homework like i said one thing is to listen to these videos another thing is to apply two different things and for those who still don't know where to get a good book you simply go to lovestelaw.com thank you so much for tuning in see you tomorrow guys 
have a great day.